Hi guys, Dave from WP Smackdown here. Just wanted to show you quickly how to um, batch install a bunch of plugins for WordPress. A lot of times when you're setting up new sites, it's a pain in the butt to install uh, one at a time all the plugins that you use on every single new install. So there's always some, some essentials that you use over and over again. This will uh, save you some time in setting up a new site. You'll be able to install all those plugins um, at once. So we're going to walk you through using a service called WP Core. They have a free version which allows you to have a couple of collections and you can put 18 different plugins in each collection. Um, if you want to sign up for a pro account then you can have a lot more collections with um, upwards of 100 plugins uh, at one time. So there's some advantages there but for this uh, tutorial we'll just walk you through the free account. So I already have an account set up so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. If not just register and create one there for free. So once you sign in, we can come up here to the top and click New, and this will allow us to create a new collection. Just give it a name. I'll call mine My Essentials. You can give it a description if you'd like. Choose whether you want to make it public or private. If it's um, something you want to share with the world, go ahead and keep it public. If it's for internal use only, you'll want to switch that over to private. Now that the collection's been created, we can add some plugins. So uh, you'll just come here and simply start searching for any one of your favorite plugins. I use uh, this one here by Jake Goldman quite often. Once you've selected it, you'll see it puts the actual slug of the plugin. So if, if it's not showing up in the list when you're searching, make sure that you put the actual slug name in there. Um, and that'll help make sure that you find it and click Add. You'll get a confirmation. Let's add just one or two more real quick. Google Analytics. And let's add WordPress SEO. There it is. All right, once you've added your plugins and scroll down a little bit, you'll see that they're listed here below. You can easily remove them from your collection by clicking this X right here or delete the entire collection down here at the bottom. But what we're going to do is take this a step further now and uh, take these and install them on a website. So you would come up here and copy this collection key. This is what um, you will use on your WordPress site to identify that you want to install all three of these plugins right here. So you copy that collection key. Now you'll go to the website that you want to install all these plugins on. Um, you'll want to go to your plugins page and add new. And um, you're going to search for WP Core, all one word. So you need to install WP Core's plugin manager in order to then insert your collection key and find your collection of multiple plugins to install at once. So I've already got the plugin manager installed, as you'll see here. And what it does is it creates uh, a new menu item for you to manage your keys and install plugins. So we're going to go manage keys. And I have one that's already set up here, but let's go ahead and just add another collection key. And you just paste that key that you copied from the WP Core site. And when you hit save, that should now list out the plugins that are in that collection. So here's the new one we just added called My Essentials. Here are the three plugins that we added to it. And if we go to install plugins, you'll see here they are. Now, what this page does is it'll show you the status, whether they're installed but not activated or whether they've not been installed at all. So I'm actually not going to go through this process to the final extent because I have already installed several of these plugins. But all you would do is you would check the box up here, which will select every single plugin that's in your collection. You may have 10, 20, 30, 50 different plugins in there. Um, if you have the pro version, you're able to put a lot more. So you would select that and it'll um, select everything for you. Come up here to bulk actions, select install, and then just click apply. And once you do that, it'll run through and just um, batch install every single one that you've selected here. Um, you can also do an activate, but you can do that with the, the regular plugin menu in WordPress as well. So the, the real benefit that, that we see here is for installing plugins for the first time. 
Uh, one other real quick thing that I just want to mention back on the Manage Keys page, if you're in the midst of adding new plugins and you've, you're have you already on this page, let's say, and you forgot one, so you go back to WP Core real quick, you add a new plugin, it doesn't show up right away. Um, what you'll want to do is come down here and click the clear cache button. That'll go ahead and just refresh everything and it'll find any new plugins that you've just recently added in your collection. Uh, and that'll update this list here before you actually go to install them. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments and let us know. Thanks.